Hello science people. Today we're going to do a lab on osmosis using cell membranes. Now this is a pretty standard lab, but it is fun and we actually get to visually watch osmosis happen. So for this lab, we're going to use regular chicken eggs. Chicken eggs have a cell membrane, but on the outside of that cell membrane is the shell. The shell is a calcium carbonate shell. And so we need to remove that shell in order to do our osmosis lab. So the first step is getting a naked egg. And the way we're gonna do that is, we're going to add vinegar. Vinegar is a strong acid. It's a 2.5 on the pH scale. All right, kids. So each one of you is gonna take an egg and gently put it inside your cup. Put an egg gently inside your cup. Do not drop it. Set it in there. Okay, good. All right, and then we are going to fill our little glass or cup with the vinegar. Now, because the shell is a calcium carbonate shell, what's going to happen is the calcium is going to dissolve in the acidic reaction of the vinegar. The carbonate, though, is going to be released as carbon dioxide. So when we pour the vinegar on top of our egg, we're gonna see the carbon dioxide bubbling within the vinegar mixture. Hey guys, have a smell. How's it smell? Bad. Bad? How's that smell? Bad. Bad? All right. Okay, so here we go. And we are going to cover our egg in the vinegar and yours. Okay, put it down. All right. Okay, now this first step is going to take two to seven days to remove that calcium carbonate shell. So we're gonna now take our egg inside the vinegar and we're gonna put our glasses inside the refrigerator. Tomorrow, one day later, we're gonna pour out the vinegar, which will be full of the calcium. We're gonna pour it out and refill it with fresh vinegar and then leave it for another two, three, maybe four days until you have a completely naked egg. All right, we'll check back in tomorrow. Okay, so after you've let these sit in your refrigerator for 24 hours, you're gonna change the vinegar. Because the, vi the vinegar right now is full of calcium, we need to switch it for fresh vinegar. So you're gonna take a spoon, gently hold your egg, pour out the old vinegar, and add fresh vinegar. You only need to do this step after the first 24 hours. The rest of the time, you can leave it in the vinegar. Okay, so now you're going to put them back in the refrigerator and leave it for another two to three days. Okay, so we left our eggs inside the vinegar solution for a total of three days. So there was the first 24 hours, then we changed the vinegar solution, and then we left them another two days. So it's been three days total, and now our eggs are naked. Look, look how squishy it is. You wanna touch it? Touch it. You scared? You can touch it. You wanna touch it? Yeah. Touch it. How's it feel? No. No? <laughs> You like to touch it? Okay, so, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our naked egg and we're going to get rid of the vinegar solution. So we got our squishy naked egg. I'm going to use a little bit of water to rinse this cup. At home, you guys can just use a separate cup. You guys can use a clean cup, but I'm just going to do this. All right, now to demonstrate osmosis, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one egg inside a corn syrup solution and we're gonna put another egg just in regular water. And then 24 hours later, we're gonna check on the eggs and we're gonna check on their osmosis and we'll see what state they're in. Squishy. <laughs> is it squishy? Wanna touch it again? <laughs> wanna touch it? You don't like the naked egg? Okay, all right, so I'm putting it back inside this cup, and then this is going to be our corn syrup egg. Can I do it? Yes, you can do it. Okay, no, you don't need the spoon. Here. Okay. This is very sticky. Okay, go. 
Ooh, cover that whole egg in syrup. Mm. Not the egg one? No, we're only gonna do one. Okay, all done. Okay, get all that sticky goodness. Do you wanna taste it? No. <laughs> Would you put your nose in it? Wanna taste it? Want to taste it? It's sugary. Kind of yummy. Want to taste it? No? Okay. All right. All right. So we got one egg completely in our thick corn syrup. And then we're going to take our second egg and get this squishy naked egg out of here. And I feel like I did not the second. Yes, you can touch it again. Go ahead. Can touch its shell? You can get rid of that gooey shell. Touch it. You want to touch it now? <laughs> Don't pop my egg. All right. All right. Now rinse this cup a little bit. We're going to put our naked egg back. All right. And do you want to pour the water on this one? Okay. So go ahead and fill that with water. You got to do the corn syrup. Now Remy is going to get to do the water. Okay, keep going. All the way up. Keep going. Okay, all done. Okay, so now we have our naked egg in water and we have our naked egg in corn syrup and we're going to check back in 24 hours. Wow! After 24 hours of our eggs sitting in their solution, we can see a huge difference. Remember that osmosis is the movement of water from an area of high concentration of water to an area of low concentration of water. And so by removing the shell, we're left with the egg that has just its membrane. Now membranes are selectively permeable, meaning that they allow some things in and some things out. And so water can get in and out of the membrane. That's why chicken eggs have a hard shell. It's to prevent water loss. All right, so let's look at these two eggs. If you remember, this egg was soaked in water for 24 hours. Now, the water in the jar was a higher percentage of water compared to the water in the egg. So the water went from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration, meaning that the water went from the jar into the egg, causing the egg to expand. And if we look at this egg, it is huge. It is swollen. It is full of water that went from the jar through this membrane and filled up the egg. And you can see the yolk floating in there with our naked egg. And this thing is full of water. Now if we look over here in contrast to this jar, corn syrup has very little water in it. And so there was a higher concentration of water in the egg than outside the egg. So what happened was the water in the egg left the egg to go join the corn syrup in the jar. Osmosis, water moving from high to low. And so what happened was the egg shriveled up because it was losing its water. Now let's see if I can pull it out without breaking it. Oh my gosh, look at the difference. I could squeeze and feel the yolk through the membrane. It is so awesome. So looking at these two eggs, let's see if I can get these out without breaking them. Looking at these two eggs, there is a huge difference. And this was just because they were sitting in what we call a hypotonic solution compared to a hypertonic solution. So this one was surrounded by water, this one corn syrup, this one the water rushed into the egg, causing it to swell. This one the water left the egg, causing it to shrivel up. Well, I hope you enjoyed this demo of osmosis using our naked eggs. I'll see you next time. Wait, wait, oh! <laughs>